Welcome to this video segment presented by Claire Rajan on percentage type and percentage row type attributes. We'll first take a look at the percentage type attribute that can be used in place of a data type during variable declaration. The percentage type attribute is particularly useful in programs that have queries in them. To understand a percentage type variable, let's take a look at the example program. Now first consider the employees table that has four columns, EMPNO, ename, salary and department number. Now we'll be concentrating on the ename column as it's relevant to the program that is also written on the slide. The ename column has been defined with a data type of varchar2 and a size of 5 bytes. Now take a look at the PLSQL program that has been written to retrieve and display the name of the employee whose employee number is 101. The program reads as declare VE name varchar205 begin select ename into VE name from employees where EMPNO equals 101 DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line VE name end forward slash. Now the memory variable called VE name was created to hold the value that was retrieved from the table. The name of the employee is VE name and its data type is varchar2 with a size of 5 bytes. Now at this time notice that the program was written so that the variable's data type and size matches the ename column in the table. Now when this program is executed the name Bob will be displayed on the screen. Now let's say you want to insert a new row into the table and the name of the employee is Shelley. The name Shelley is 7 characters long and will fail insertion into the table unless you modify the table to increase the width of the ename column. Let's say the structure of the table is modified in such a way that you increase the width of the ename column to 10 bytes using the command alter table employees modify open parentheses ename varchar2 of 10 close parentheses. Now this type of change will allow you to successfully insert the desired row into the employees table. Now that the row has been inserted, let's say that the program that we had discussed earlier is executed so that the name of the employee whose employee number 121 is retrieved. The variable VE name was created to hold a value that consisted of 5 bytes or less. However, the name being retrieved, which is Shelley from the table, is 7 bytes in length and the program will fail execution with the error being character string buffer too small. Now it's important to observe the dependency that exists between the data type and the width of the memory variable VE name and the column of the table whose value it must hold in the program. Now to prevent such a failure you can use the percentage type attribute. The percentage type attribute is used in place of the data type during variable declaration. It is particularly useful when there is some kind of dependency between a column of the table and a memory variable. The syntax of variable declaration using percentage type is table name dot column name percent type. Now based on the program that is being discussed, the data type and the size of the VE name variable was dependent on the column called ename, which is in the employees table. So instead of defining it as a varchar2 variable with a specific size, you can declare the data type of VE name as employees.ename percent type. Now during program execution, the VE name variable will automatically inherit the same data type and the size as the ename column of the employees table as it is at the time of program execution. Now this would help because even if you alter the table to modify the column sizes, it's not going to adversely affect the program. 
Now here we have modified the program so that the variable a VE name has a data type that's based on percent type. It will inherit the data type of var char 2 and a size of 10 bytes based on the current data type and the size of the ename column. When the program is executed, the name Shelley will be displayed on the screen. Uh, we'll now take a look at another attribute called the percentage row type attribute. Now before we go into the details of its usage, consider the program that has been written on the slide. The program must retrieve the details of the employees whose employee number is 121. Now what is specific to the program is the fact that we are not retrieving specific columns. We are retrieving all the columns. The employees table has four columns and the program has declared four variables for this purpose, one for each column. Now in the body of the program is a select statement which is written as select star into VEMPNO, comma VE name, comma V salary, comma V department number from employees where EMPNO equal to 121. Now in this example, the employees table is quite small and it has only four columns. However, if the table had many columns and you had to retrieve either men, most of the columns or even all the columns in the program, it would not be practical to create too many variables. Now to simplify this, you can use the percentage row type attribute during variable declaration. Now just like percentage type, the percentage row type variable is also associated with variable declaration. Percentage row type allows you to create a single variable whose structure is based on a row of a table. The syntax is variable name and its data type would be table name percentage row type. For example, to create a variable called VEMP121 that has a structure that is based on a row of the employees table, you would declare its data type as employees percent row type. Now this variable will consist of many individual elements where each element corresponds to a column of the employees table. Now here you can see the employees table with its four columns EMPNO, ename, salary and DPTNO. The variable VEMP121 is created as a percentage row type variable with a data type declaration of employees percent row type. The variable VEMP121 will have four elements. The first element will correspond to the EMPNO column. The second element will correspond to the ename column. The third element will correspond to the salary column and the fourth element to the department number column. If you had to retrieve all the details of employee 121, the query would have been written as select star into variable name VEMP121 from employees where EMPNO equal to 121. Now each column's value will be populated into the corresponding element of the VEMP121 variable. If you had to access the individual value from the variable VEMP121, the syntax would be variable name dot column name. For example, to access the value 121 from the, from the VEMP121 variable, you can do so using VEMP121.EMPNO. Now here the program to retrieve the details of the employee 121 has been rewritten using the percentage row type attribute. The program reads as declare VEMP121 employees percent row type. Begin select star into VEMP121 from employees where EMPNO equal to 121. DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line VEMP121 dot EMPNO. DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line VEMP121 dot ename DBMS underscore output dot put underscore line VEMP121 dot salary 
dbms underscore output dot put underscore line vemp one twenty one dot department number end. Now notice the variable declaration. Its data type is employees percent row type. Next, in the select statement, we are retrieving all the columns into the variable VEMP121. Finally, you are displaying the employee number, the name, salary and department number from the variable VEMP121. In this tutorial, I explained the use of the percentage type and percentage row type attributes. I hope you find this tutorial useful. For more videos, tutorials, articles and resources on Oracle related topics, you can take a look at the oraclecoach.com website. Thank you for your time and thank you for listening.